but I want to quickly show you uh, the PhoneGap developer app working with Nitros. So first of all, PhoneGap developer app is a way to develop your uh, phone mobile apps on your computer and then wirelessly pair it with your iPhone, iPad, Android, Win8 device. Uh, Nitros, however, working with an Adobe product called uh, Connect PhoneGap, allows you to do all this online so you can work with people who aren't in the same on the same wireless network. Uh, I'll try to do this as quickly as I can. So in we get to Nitros. I'm not going to show you everything. I only learned how to use it yesterday. Um, <clears throat> but let's get you going here. This is something I made before. I'm going to just go in and delete it. Uh, you've got to put in the exact term. The reason I'm deleting this is the free account on Nitros only allows you one what's called box. And while that's deleting, let's show you the steps we're going to do. So first, we've already logged in. Then we're going to make a new box. Then we're going to start the, the node assignment. Um, I'm going to give it a name. Uh, why don't I today call it my name? So let's go back here. I'm going to refresh this page and see if the box has been uh, there. My box is gone. So we're going to make a new box. This step I always forget to do. So make sure you click on node. There are all kinds of cool things you can do here. Um, I'm just going to call it my name, uh, probably not a good idea using capitals, but whatever. And here's a bunch of Nitro stuff. Um, Nitros, I'm using the free one. It looks really good if you pay for it. And I'm just demonstrating how to do this. Now, we need a GitHub uh, directory. This is my one. It's got my Nitros JS here. Um, let's just have a little look here. I need that. Well, actually, the easy way to get that is this part. I'm not sure if on the iPad it works. And let's go into my Nitros and paste that. See, it ended with Git. It just is the GitHub um, URL. So let's create that box. And it's going to do its stuff. Let's go back to my notes. Uh, select node there. Start with a a GitHub repo. Uh, that should definitely say git on the end. Now then, we're going to go into the terminal and let's see how we're doing here. Um, it looks like it already jumped me into the terminal. That's not the normal way of doing it. Let's just refresh this page. I'll click around here. Okay, so Developer app using Nitros. Um, here's my workspace. And here's the Nitros uh, console. So I'm just going to do a DIR to see what's here. Readme and workspace. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Not quite sure how my notes got there. Uh, I want to go into workspace. So CD. W tab, it fills it in for me. Uh, DIR to see what's there. Um, CDP tab, it gets me there. Now this is where I'm going to work. Okay, and notice right here is my nitros.js. So the next step is I want to install connect. NPM install, always a good idea to spell it properly, connect. And while it's thinking and doing that, we're also going to install connect-phonegap, uh, reasonably recently created. Um, the two developers I bumped into are Tim Kim and N.W. Brooks. Uh, and it allows the whole wireless stuff to become online. So now, let's... Oh, I did my steps a little bit different. I've done, I'm already in the workspace. So let's just 
quickly. Oh, I've still got to do npm install connect dash phone gap. Make sure everything's spelt right with these command line things. And this is as simple as it gets. Uh, before we try running this, let's go through the screen here that allows you to view stuff. Now, I've got a couple of things here that I don't really need. This is for when I was working in Heroku. I call it Hero-KU, but Heroku. Um, this file made by um, Mr. Brooks uh, is a packaging file, and the library is where he has the one that actually runs the Connect uh, phone graph program. Very small. Uh, you require Connect, you require PhoneGap, you use the PhoneGap app, you listen on the port. I pretty much copied the same thing to Nitrous. And at the bottom of the screen, looks like we're ready. So let's just try Node. It's in the same nitros.js. So this is calling the node program to run this thing up here. Um, I'm curious whether it'll know the path to these things. So let's just, uh, before we do that, I wonder if we should do the preview. Here's a preview button that shows us what's there. Nitrous has not started running things yet. So now let's try running this command. I should have put in a little hello world thing so you know what's going on. Right now, control C will get you out of that, but who knows what's happening. So let's go to the preview, port 3000, there. This is the incredible page. If you just view your PhoneGap beginner thing on Chrome, you'll get something like this stuff. Uh, that's my, my app. But if you get this really irritating box that bounces up, that means it's going to work on your iPad, your Android device. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, to finish off, I'm just going to control C to get out of there. If we can get back to our boxes right here, there's lots of stuff you can do. Um, by the way, before we go, let's just have a look at my index file. This is my app. It's all written in JavaScript. Um, it could just say, hello world here. Probably a good idea to start with a GitHub um, thing set up for it, but this part's very easy. You need to look at PhoneGap stuff. Anyway, let's go into the boxes. I, I don't know what's with the irritating screen there. This is the one I set up. Hey, it made it the small letters. That's interesting. Um, in theory, that's the URL of the preview. Um, oh, I shut it down, darn. That's what you have to enter into the PhoneGap developer app. Um, I would copy and paste it somehow. Uh, notice, because it's the free one, it will shut down every once in a while. To start it again, you're going to have to go into the terminal, find out where you are, um, EIR and go back into that workspace. So WTAB, um, DIR, CDP tab, DIR. You need to get back there to reactivate it. You reactivate it with the node uh, nitros.js. Okay. Um, hopefully, I'll load up a video and show you uh, the phone gap one working with that. Let's run that. Let's go see if my terminal is working again. Uh, preview port 3000. There we go. Once you see that irritating thing, it means it's working on the PhoneGap developer app. Okay, in Google, in Chrome, if you open up this page, it would only show you this stuff. Now, what my app is, is it's just a bunch of does this work on Android? Does it work on iPhone, iPad? Uh, does it work on Win 8? And you can go down and just try links, images. Uh, does a plugin work? Tables. This is just web page stuff. Uh, game base. Can you make a, a basic game forms? Um, saving onto your Android device. Camera, accelerometer, CSS animations. Sound. Sounds pretty finicky. Um, geolocation in app browser. 
Uh, this is 3D. Does 3D work on your iPad, Android device? Anyway, that's it. Jeremy Ellis here. Um, we've just loaded up a Nitros with a node nitros.js command. I've gone into um, here to find this one. It's called my name. It's got pretty awful URL. Uh, it ends in nitrousbox.com. Um, that's how it would look in Google Chrome. It's just a web page. But we're going to load it up in the PhoneGap developer app right there. Um, I've already typed in that ridiculously long URL. That's the only pain. Um, but here we go. Let's connect. We've got success. This is online, remember. This is a Wi-Fi device created for online. Now let's. This is something you can't do online, is, is work with plugins at the moment. So we could just try a song um, using that plugin, see if the camera loads. Um, pretty hard here, and I don't like this horrible way of doing these things. There's my camera. Let's take a picture. Let's save it and see if it gets into my app. There it is, it's in my app. Not very excellent one. Um, let's go back. Uh, game base, I just very quickly, there's a, a starting game that people can work with and change. Um, uh, the one I really like is this 3D stuff. See if the advanced one works. Uh, these are 3D things loading up in a, an Android phone and you can try these on um, the iPad and Win8 and they should all work.